Hi there, I'm Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team serving the Space and Treasure Coast of beautiful sunny Florida. And today I wanna to talk to you about why people are moving to the city of Vero Beach, Florida. If you're considering a move to Vero Beach, you'll want to tune in. Um, there's a lot of great information here. Uh, some of this might ring true for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe if this is helpful for you. We post new videos every single week for you about uh, the cities and things to do here in the Space and Treasure Coast. All right, so one of the main reasons people choose to come live here in Vero Beach along the Atlantic coast is access to the beach. We've got some really beautiful quaint beaches. Um, pretty much in all of my videos, I talk about how lovely our beaches are. Uh, free parking, ample parking, it's very accessible to the public. There's typically a lot of little places to eat um, and things like that. We just have some really beautiful beach area. Uh, the sand is nice and soft. There's some really neat shells, little shark teeth you can find on occasion. And it's never crowded. The beaches here are never crowded and that's one of the things that I love the most about them. You can really have like a nice experience when you go down uh, to spend time next to the ocean. So that's the first one, access to the beaches. And Vero Beach specifically is nestled right along the Atlantic coast. It hugs the coast. We do have a barrier island, which is also part of Vero Beach. Um, but the mainland of Vero Beach is located right along the uh, beautiful Atlantic coast. And as I say in some of my other videos as well, it's really neat because we are right at the delineation of where the tropics begin in Florida. So we get a lot of beautiful tropical weather Weather. and at certain times of the year like in the middle of summer the waters are so blue and clear you can see right through it's really just a sight to behold all right the second reason that somebody would want to move to Vero Beach is the pace of life so we're on Florida time here, all right? There is a lovely pace of life. This is a fantastic uh, place. If you are a retiree or you're looking for like a medium to slower pace of life, it is not crowded here. You're not going to be waiting in a lot of traffic when you're going out uh, to places. You're not gonna have a long wait if you go out to dinner. Um, most of the time, you don't even need to make reservations. Places don't take it. So it's a really nice experience for a slower pace of life. Um, here in Vero Beach. And that's really due to the size of the city and the population here, um, the seasonal and off season times. And um, yeah, it's just really lovely. We've got a lot of nice things that you can enjoy, uh, wonderful places to eat, places to shop, lots of things to do and outdoor things to do, um, things happening, people putting on like different shows and different um, markets and things like that. But the pace of life is nice and slow here. Next reason why somebody might want to live here is our cost of living is very reasonable. So if you look at the scale of, you know, high to low in the nation, Florida is very affordable and specifically Vero Beach because we are a smaller city um, there's not a uh, like a big boom here so like I would say like a real estate boom or, you know, our prices aren't like Miami prices they aren't Tampa prices we've got really reasonable um, prices for homes for goods, for groceries, for all those different types of things um, that you need in your day-to-day -day life. And yeah, it's a really reasonable cost of living for, for what you get out of this beautiful place. All right, so the weather is so beautiful here. As you can see, it's like one o'clock on a Wednesday that I'm shooting this um, here for you. And the weather is absolutely amazing. It is a beautiful day here in Florida. And most of our days are beautiful and bright and sunny. We've got fantastic weather as we get into like November to 
April, May. It's very mild. We always have a nice breeze. It's light jacket kind of weather. Um, during the summer, it's hot, but that's when you're in the water. That's when you're in the sun. That's when you're enjoying that Florida heat and get a nice tan. So the weather is one of the reasons why somebody would want to move to our area. It's really fantastic. And again, we're in that tropic zone. So we've got that nice tropical uh, vacation vibe kind of weather going on here. All right, the next reason somebody might, might want to live here kind of sounds funny, but I'll explain myself. So there's lots of transplants. And what I mean by transplants is I mean, People who didn't grow up here, they're not from here. And that actually makes for a really nice experience. And I would say Florida, a lot of Florida has transplants. Like the people who are here now are from somewhere else, from up north, from out west. Uh, I personally am from North Carolina. Uh, my husband grew up here, but his family was from Long Island, New York. And there's a lot of people here, especially in this town, that they're, they're from all over. And the reason why I think that's really lovely is because you don't get like a super insular kind of feeling. I'm from a very small town in Western North Carolina and it can feel a little cloistered. And here, because there's so many people from all different kinds of walks of life and everywhere is a nice healthy mix. Um, you know, it, it feels like you're welcome. And it's a small enough town that people are quite friendly. You see the same clerks at the grocery store when you go in every week. You, you know, you see the same friendly faces and if you don't recognize them, they're gonna be friendly to you most likely anyways. All right, we're all from a little bit of everywhere, but since it's a smaller town, like it's a smaller city, you get that small town kind of vibe. And uh, I really love it. I, I, I feel welcome here. I feel safe here. Um, and I think it's a really lovely place to live for that reason. One of the many things that I find very endearing about Vero Beach, and one of the reasons why I think somebody would want to move here specifically is that this town has a love of the arts. It supports our artists. We've got wonderful platforms for you to express your art, to enjoy other people's art. We've got um, farmer's markets, we've got art shows, um, we've got a beautiful art museum. There's a lot of small businesses here in town where you can go throw clay, you can paint, you can take uh, art lessons. There's groups of people too as well. There's like knitting clubs, art clubs. There, there's just a lot of people who are here. That also might be because we have a decent population of retirees who are, are living their hobbies as well. But this is really a nice place to be an artist. And the weather is so beautiful too. So it really lends itself to being outside and being creative. And um, yeah, I, it's one of the things I love. I paint myself. Um, I'm an artist and I really appreciate that about this city. All right, so the last point that I've outlined for you today, um, why you would want to move here to Vero Beach, is that we've got a really um, nice proximity to airports, to highways, to hospitals, conveniences and things like that. Vero Beach has a small municipal airport. Um, we're very close to Melbourne as well, which does um, some of the, accommodate some of the bigger airlines. It's about 45 minutes away. We're also about an hour and a half from Orlando International Airport and the same just to the south in West Palm Beach. So we're very accessible airport wise. Um, we've got I-95 in the Turnpike, just a hop and a skip. Um, right on the cusp of Vero. So very close to um, well-traveled highways. US-1 runs right through Vero Beach as well. Um, and we've got some great hospitals around us in our area and some wonderful doctors. So it's very convenient in that way. All right, so in closing, um, I really outlined my top reasons why I think 
somebody would want to move to Vero Beach, from having moved to Vero Beach myself um, years ago, as well as working with people day in and day out who are looking at this area, interested in this area, moving in and out of this area. These are some of the things that I wanted to highlight for you to consider. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments below. We check them all the time and we love to hear back from you. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to get more content like this. This is Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. If you like this content and you want more, click the videos to my left.